Hi guys, Boise here. Today I'm just going to do a simple tutorial video on how to spawn in AI flights on the full mission builder in IL2 Clista Dover. Now what I have here is a, a pre-prepared base uh, map with some bits and pieces on. We're not going to worry about that for now, that's going to be covered in another uh, video. Uh, for now this is just once you have these bits in place how to get uh, AI uh, doing things for you. So here we have uh, Hydroquent Airfield with you know, various spawn points on it and, and, and decorations and so on and so forth. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, an AI aircraft to fly over the airfield. So I can show you how to set that up in, in basic format. Now what you need to do uh, is obviously select the aircraft type you want first and go from there. So we go to view here on the top bar and select object browser. Now here you can choose a, a variety of items uh, and of course this time we're going to go for aircraft and then you can uh, sort by various uh, categories here countries uh, a useful one and we're going to go Germany and we're going to create a, a, an AI friendly aircraft flying over the airfield um, let's do the, uh, the FW200 uh, quite a big aircraft should look quite cool going over the airfield so once you've selected all that, oh, and of course you can view the aircraft if you're unfamiliar with it or want to see some details before you pop it on. Okay, so once you've got that, we want to place it onto the map. Now what you do here is you put your mouse where you want the aircraft to be, hold down left control and press left click. And there it is. And if you hover over it, you can see the aircraft type there. Now it's flashing, which means it's selected and you can do stuff to it over here. If you want to unselect it or delete it, you right click over it and then unselect or delete uh, as you wish. But we want to have that again, so we're going to click on it again. Now, so that's where the aircraft's going to start. Now, what I'm going to simply going to do is have it fly over the runway to the other side of the airfield. So we're going to do left click and control again, the other side of the airfield. So you've then created uh, you know, a direction and a route for it to fly. And we'll get him to fly off here somewhere as well, just to uh, have him going somewhere after that point. Now, um, as it is now, that will fly over the airfield, but we want to look at what height he's going to fly over and speed and so on and so forth. So we go to Group Properties first, uh, and uh, you'll see there's a variety of stuff here. Uh, I'm not going to look at that quite yet. We're going to go to Waypoint. Now you'll see here the altitude is 500 meters and the speed is 300 kilometers an hour. That, that, that's fine for now. Uh, if you're doing other things, you'll want to amend that, particularly bombers. You might want to make them a bit slower um, if you're doing big raids and so on and so forth. But uh, for what we're doing, it doesn't really matter. And if you press previous, you'll go to the previous waypoint, which is detailed here. So zero, that's that waypoint there. One, that waypoint there and obviously two, that waypoint there. And you'll see each one I click, the details stay the same. Um, you can select an action for each waypoint, and for the purpose of this, it's just gonna be normal fly. But this is where you would set it up if you wanted to do ground attack, or you know, free hunt, or escort, or whatever it may well be. But for now, normal flight is, is all we're after. Okay, so basically, you've got other options here for sort of skins and so on and so forth. We're not gonna concern ourselves with that at the moment. So what would happen now, if we were to load this mission on a multiplayer server or lobby, that would then have that aircraft fly over, and that would be a very simple AI spawn done. What we're going to do, though, uh, because we're just going to um, play the mission to see if it works, we need to create a player plane so you can actually see it, because at the moment it would load and you wouldn't be able to load in uh, unless you're doing a server or something. So we're simply going to place uh, a playable aircraft onto the airfield so that we can uh, see what's going on. So if I zoom in a bit more here, um, it's going to be the same principle. In fact, I'm going to unselect that and do it again. So we're going to place another aircraft. So we go to View again, Object Browser, and select our aircraft. I'm just going to go for a simple E1. That will do the job for this. And uh, left control and left click on your mouse, plonk them down. Now the difference this time is, as you'll notice the other one, it auto spawns in the air by default. So you have to change what you're doing with it. So here... I'm going to change it slightly. So on the waypoint, rather than normal flight, I want it to be takeoff, i.e. it's on the ground. 
and uh, once that's done you'll see the altitude is zero and the speed is zero because it's uh, effectively a stationary aircraft but another important thing here is you click spawn parked here i.e. spawn the aircraft parked uh, which is what we want and the final thing you have to do is click this box here player so it will tell the computer that when you load the mission that's for the player to, to jump straight into without having to select anything okay so now that's done I'm going to unselect that aircraft close that window down and uh, we'll uh, play the mission and uh, chocks in Hopefully. okay and there he is flying over the airfield and you can actually use external views to have a good look at it. You'll see the, uh, the airfield underneath there. And uh, my little aircraft is there as well. Now what he'll do, uh, he'll uh, fly along merrily until he gets to the waypoint and then we'll take a uh, course change. There he goes. Okay, that worked. So press escape and exit. Okay, so in effect we've created an AI flight there. Now what we can do is we can change it a little bit, yeah, add more of them there, change the heights on and so forth. So right click properties and uh, if you go to group properties you have the option to add more in. Now we had one in before but you can change it to three so you have three aircraft in that particular flight and then you can have multiple flights behind that if you wish but we'll, we'll just change it to three. You can also change the altitude, and I had this set up to 500 meters, um, but I've changed it to 200 there. And if you want the same altitude throughout all waypoints, just simply press this button, and it will change every waypoint to that altitude. Or alternatively, you could press or previous and next and change each waypoint to be a, a different altitude. That's down to you. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll test run that one again, and this time there should be three aircraft, and they should be a little bit lower. And there they are, flying over. Look at that. And again, we'll do uh, an external view of those guys and, uh, and see how they look. Just let them fly over first. See it from the cockpit. It's quite cool. Okay, let's go external. That is how you create a very simple airspawn 